get a ruin the, the table top of the <laughs> call the Warrenville Public Libraries District meeting. The Board of Trustees to order on Wednesday, August 17, 2022, at 7.01 p.m. Have a roll call. And Trustee DeRocher. Absent. <laughs> Trustee Lazan. Yeah, absent. Trustee Pika. Present. Trustee Richardson. Here. Trustee Rosica. Present. Trustee Stahl. Present. And Trustee Warren is here too. If I could ask the members of the staff to announce themselves, that'd be great. Yep, so Sandy with her director, Jackie Davis, assistant to the director, Kathy Gatis, marketing and communications specialist, Paul Doberson, public services manager, Taylor Herring, adult services librarian. And Mary Kelly is also on on the Zoom and on acquisitions and cataloging. Welcome. 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 She doesn't have her camera on her. Oh, right now. Okay. And Sandy Lazan, all right. Great. Okay. And Rick, we do not need the approved remote attendance and participation. We had no requests. So you can okay. skip that. Okay. Uh, I'd like to request that we take a vote on the approval of the agenda. I would suggest that we eliminate items 19 and 20 regarding our closed session. Second. So you'll move um, number 20 will become regular agenda item C. What would be? 19 becomes regular agenda item C. Right. One of those, the action that you're going to take right. out of closed session um, minutes. Will that require a vote? So we need an approval of the agenda. Yeah, but let me, um, Number 20 is the discussion and action resulting from closed session, and there is a motion there. Right. So, so, so 20. C. Yeah, 20 becomes 8C. And 21 becomes 19. Okay. I move that we approve the agenda as amended. Second. Trustee Pika. And the trustee was on. Seconded it. Is there any discussion? Then we'll call the vote. Trustee Lizan? Aye. Trustee Pico? Aye. Trustee Richardson? Aye. Trustee Brzezica? Aye. Trustee Stahl? Aye. And Trustee Warren agrees with me. Yes. Are there any presentations tonight? We do not. Then, any comments from anybody that is available? I don't have anybody else online. We don't have anybody present. Any and I do not have any emails from the public. Okay, so moving to the consent agenda, I get a motion to approve the minutes of the July 20, 2022 regular board meeting. This is when I think Heather, as secretary, reads the consent agenda, and then we get a motion for the whole consent agenda. Consent agenda for Public Library District Regular Meeting for August 17th, 2022. Item number A, approved minutes of the July 20th, 2022 Regular Board Meeting. Item B, 
receive and file revised financial report for June. Item number C, receive and file financial report for July. I move that we approve the consent agenda as read. Second. Yeah, Trustee Pika making the motion and Trustee Rosita seconding. Any discussion? Then I'll call for a vote. Trustee Rosan? Aye. Trustee Pika? Aye. Trustee Richardson? Aye. Trustee Rosita? Aye. Trustee Stahl? Aye. And Trustee Warren? Aye. Too. Moving along the reg regular agenda. I move that we pay invoices in the amount of $51,864 for the period of July 21st, 2022 to August 17th, 2022, including electronic payments and checks number 8927 through 8982, checks okay. number 8927, 8951, 8958 through 8961 are related. Somebody else? Do I have a second on that? Second. Any discussion? On the vote? On this motion? Trustee Rizan? Aye. Trustee Peter? Aye. Trustee Richards? Aye. Trustee Rosita? Aye. Trustee Stahl? Aye. And Trustee Warren, both sides. I need to transfer $150,000 from commercial checking account to operating checking account. I second. Any discussion? Call for the vote. Trustee Luzon? Aye. Trustee Pico? Aye. Trustee Richardson? Aye. Trustee Rizzi? Aye. Trustee Stahl? Aye. Trustee Warren, both sides. Unfinished business. You got uh, it. No, got it. I got what? Yeah. C. C. Oh, C. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, that's right. I didn't have an arrow. Um, I move that we release closed session minutes and or destroy closed sessions recording, but I believe there's none to release at this time, so I don't know. On page 67, there's yeah. a suggestion motion. I move that we destroy the verbatim recording of the September 16, 2020 regular board meeting closed session. Second. Any discussion? Okay. Trustee Pika? Aye. Trustee Lazan? Aye. Trustee Richardson? Aye. Trustee Rosita? Aye. Trustee Stull? Aye. And Trustee Warren Brothers? There is none, none this evening. Any new business? Yep. Going to review and approve the Illinois Public Library annual report for fiscal year 2022. And a mighty amount of work it seems like it was too. Shared among many hands. So, I was going to ask that question. I saw later in the packet that everybody contributes. Are you able to use any data from year to year about just applying a percentage, or do you have to go back and every line? We have to go back through every line and, and collect mm -hmm. data. And I will say this month, um, the burden fell hardest on call, I think. There's a lot of information. Because this, the data that they're collecting for programs has become very convoluted. Uh, because of the remote participation, and then they, they accounts for synchronous um, programs, which are you're attending while the program is happening, or asynchronous, which are those supported programs. So it's the, the re, collecting the data is one time-consuming factor, and the other factor is then 
collating it all and bringing it together for this report. So well, Paul great deserves Thank huge you. kudos for that this year. Is there a penalty if it is not submitted on a timely basis with the correct information? I don't know how they check the information. Well, they do check the information. There's a, a kind of a validation check that we do before we submit it. So if there's anything that maybe is, I don't even know what the percentage difference is, but if there's a, a considerable difference between previous years, um, you'll see toward the end of all these lovely pages, there's a, there are a whole bunch of like footnotes. And those are um, notes that I have to make to explain what those differences are, whether it increases or decreases. If we miss anything or the state library does think something is off, they actually will call us and follow up. Um, and if we do not file this report, we are not eligible for our per capita grant. So there is a, which now we're getting like $20,000 a year. So there is well, it is a, a little bit of a penalty. It made me glad I was retired. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It, for me, it's interesting to look at, you know, what, where the changes are. Most not always easy to explain why those changes are. Well, I'll make the motion that we approve the Illinois Public Library Annual Report for 2022 and authorize our library staff to submit the report to the State Library. Second. And then I'll just add, Cindy and Rick both yes. reviewed the minutes and they were okay, right? Everything they were okay yes. there? Yeah, excellent. Yes. Great. We can say that that was well done. All right. So we do need to vote. We just have a motion. Yeah. October 18th. Oh, Thursday night. So then, were there any other questions about the annual report? No? Okay, then Rick, we just need a roll call vote for the annual report approval. Okay. Uh, taking a vote on the approval motion that was made earlier. Uh, Trustee Lizan? Aye. Uh, Aye. Trustee, <laughs> Trustee Richardson? Aye. Trustee Rizuka? Aye. Trustee Stell? Aye. And Trustee Warren Bates also. Here. I move that we authorize expenditures for two trustees, 2010 trustee day at the 2020 Library Association annual conference. Sorry, I figure we need a motion to discuss as to who it is. Yeah, but the motion that she suggests is oh, okay. for names. Oh, um, uh, Trustee Rizzi has signed up for this. I think there were three Sorry. trustees last month who were interested. So tonight you'll need to discuss and determine which two trustees are attending. I can do that. Uh, October. October 20th, Thursday, October 20th. What was the third person? I think Heather was it. Yeah, I might have to schedule some surgery so I can do it. Okay, okay. So, okay. Rick thinks he's open. Anybody Actually, else? I don't think I will be. I think that's during the period of early voting. And okay. The judge election. Okay. So I, I will. Uh, All right. Cindy, are you please. still able to go? Uh, where's it at? It's at the Rose, it's Rosemont Convention Center. Huh. Rosemont? Yes. I can go, but I, I don't know how to drive it. Okay. So my suggestion is that the board approves Cindy's attendance. Does anybody else want to go? Before I go to bed. Jill, are you up to going right now? I don't think so. Okay. October's booked. And that's fine. Sandy, Jerry, either of you interested? I'm not in town. Okay, and I know Barbara will be in school, so that's not likely. So I would suggest that you authorize Cindy attending. Okay. And we can see if there, we have some staff going. 
I live like right there. So if you need directions, okay. I'm very happy to help you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Thank okay. You. <laughs> or there may be somebody going from here. We'll figure that out. I mean, I can meet, drive up here and meet you and be from here. Yeah, she she lives. She right won't there. drive. So um, gotcha. <laughs> she does. I'll see if there's anybody else going from this area. And if they are, are there you go. Oh, Diana is Diana? No, what'd you say? Um, and we'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. We'll figure it out afterwards, but let's just authorize it. And if we can make okay. it happen for you, Cindy, we'll make it happen. Sure. Okay. All right. So we just need a motion then. I authorize registration expenditure for trustee Rasika to attend the ILA annual conference on October 20th, 2022, and reimburse her for, I guess, it would, if she's, if she, I mean, if she's not driving, there's no mileage, so there's no tolls. That's okay. And she can drive by herself. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's just include yeah, okay. the whole know. thing, and it's, if but we don't use it, we don't use it. I authorize registration expenditure for Trustee Ruzika to attend the ILA annual conference on October 20th, 2022, and reimburse her for mileage, tolls, and parking. Second. Great. Any further discussion? Following it, uh, Trustee Luzon? Aye. Uh, Trustee Pika? Aye. Trustee Richards. Aye. Trustee Rosita. Aye. Trustee Stowe. Aye. And Trustee Warren Goldsides. Aye. 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 Then we come to the point of approving policy number 216 for homebound delivery. Motion. I think so. And we'll be approved policy number 216 for delivery. I would just like to uh, extend again kudos to Paul and Taylor. Very well written. You did a great job. Thank you. Both. It's nice. And mainly to you. It's a lot of Taylor, thank you so much. Oh, but you did. <laughs> Taylor researched a lot of other libraries, not only policies, but procedures. So this is just kind of I would say the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of other procedural um, documentation that she also has in place. So this is very clear and very comprehensive. Thank you. Yes, it has a lot of points in it that I gee, that was funny. Our benchmarking is always good. Yeah. Glad to see it coming back. Anybody have any questions about it or concerns? Mm -hmm. So I had a question, How, what happens if they want to renew it? Is that something they have to do remote or is that something that... So uh, with the homebound, because before COVID, we were not part of SWAN. SWAN has a very specific card type that homebound patrons will be using called an outreach card. All items that are checked out to this card will be checked out for eight weeks and they will not be renewable. So they get it for an extended period of time and then they're expected to renew it and if they or and return it when it's due if they do not then they're physically responsible for that item okay so then again that their period is extended then you can say in the normal if they were walking in the library and do it yes and we would make that clear upon them signing up like hey just so you know you get them for eight weeks instead of four or two um that way there's no renewals and you don't have to keep track of those that's like I didn't see that in there, so that's why I was confused. Yes. Probably best to put them in there in case they change. That's the last place you would think to look if there's a change. <laughs> so being open ended is probably. And I believe um, Kathy put copies of the reading matters on your table tonight. Yeah. Yeah. And there's an article about homebound delivery. Mm -hmm. in that newsletter. So hopefully we'll get a couple of calls. Yeah, hopefully. Um, and then I was going to share, just so you are aware, if you know anybody who can use this service, um, you can refer them to Taylor, of course. Um, but let's see if I can share. Um, this is our website, of course, which you may recognize. Um, 
And I don't know why I'm scrolling all the way to the top, but that's what the top looks like. <laughs> but you have to scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm trying not to look too speedy for people. Um, but at the very bottom, Kathy, Kathy manages our website. Thank you, Kathy. Um, Kathy's added a category down at the very bottom for other services. And she has um, started a page for homebound delivery that has most of the basic information here. She says under construction, we were waiting for this policy to be approved and finalized. Um, but there's some basic information here that was included in the newsletter as well as policy. It outlines the dates that deliveries would be happening um, for this year and next. Um, and then there's information about getting a library card, which we'll be working through that process if we do have somebody that does not have a library card to make that process easier for them. Um, and I believe that the, uh, the registration form yes. the, will also be um, updated here as well, available here. So people with the registration form, they're signing up for the service, agreeing to a few things, and also letting Taylor know what kind of um, materials they want to receive, what genres they like to read, if they have favorite authors. Uh, right? Yes. Uh, I have copies of these forms, by the way, if you'd like to look at them. Otherwise, I can. we just have extra copies. We'll just reuse them. We can just reuse them. It's not the end of the world. But I'll, I will pass them around if people want to take a look at them. Thank you. Okay, kind of a side diversion. I just looked at this. And this. Oh, nice, guys. Oh. Talk, talk, stuff. Thank you. Also, me. <laughs> Any idea? How, I was just curious how much it was used before, like how frequently we got requests or. So, since, uh, since I've been here in 2019, uh, I went on two deliveries. Uh, but that was only a few months before we shut down right, anyways. Yeah. Uh, but there was at least one member who was using it at the time. Started, yeah. And I do think we have some people, more people who are interested uh, when it comes back. I know I have somebody that I'm going to email. Um, it's a woman whose husband usually comes and picks up things for her, but I would tell her if we, I told her I would tell her if we up, started this program up again if she was interested. Mm -hmm. She didn't seem to be terribly interested because I think her husband comes in and uses curbside, but if their situation changes, at least she'll know it's available. It provides access to any um, assisted living homes that are popping up nearby. Mm -hmm. And this would be a member of your staff doing the deliveries, or will it be shared? Here she is. Hello, oh, the, here's, here's me. me. <laughs> yes. We're the door dash of the war. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I am strongly <laughs> suggesting a second person go with her. Yeah. And that can probably be somebody from the member services staff or even one of our shelters. They're kind of the yeah, the Robin to that one. You go out <laughs> the ride along. You go out with snowstorm, and I can't get to the library. You deliver uh, historical <laughs> fiction to my home. Well, no, unfortunately, no. But if we'll keep shovel, that in mind. Yes. No. <laughs> it has to be. It yeah, has so, to be. So for we me. don't have to approve the purchase of a snow machine. No. <laughs> no. Um, no, but we could go back to consider the book. <laughs> but if there was, if there was an older person that was homebound because they couldn't drive, absolutely, I think yeah. absolutely. But on a stormy day, Cindy, <laughs> we're not going to be able to call us up, and we're not going to come out. Historical fiction, science fiction. <laughs> so the other question I had. So now this is just going to extend to houses in Warrenville, like say if somebody's. In Marion Joy or Central DuPage Hospital, we wouldn't be doing that any service for that if there was no, that's correct. It okay. would just be deliveries within the boundaries of okay. the library district. Does Swan take care of that somehow? Books by mail or something? That I do not know. I don't, the Swan, I, as far as I know, Swan wouldn't do that, individual libraries would. But I would think that Mary and Joy probably has a library of some sort. They have a large library and most of the assisted living facilities in Omana has a fairly large library. Well. Yeah. It's also possible depending on the situation. Um, it, on the form, if you are looking at it, there should be a line that designates us another person to receive their delivery. 
Um, if they have some, if they are in the hospital and someone is staying at home, we can deliver to the house. That person can pick up their delivery or visit to pick up their delivery and bring it to them in the hospital if that's what they wish. Okay. They are still required to have a library card here at Warren Villa. I haven't stayed at those facilities, so I was just curious. If sure. You somebody, again, if you're familiar with your library and know they have what you want versus taking the chances of course. there. Good question. Yeah, it's a very situational kind of service. And for the weird scenarios that will eventually pop up, I will encourage all staff to just direct them to me or call. And then we'll deal with those on a case by case basis. Yes, we, we will write them down so someday you'll be able to write a book. <laughs> <laughs> and the plan here is to review this in about six months. So probably in March, we'll come back to you with, um, you know, to let you know, hey, here's how many people we've we've had enrolled. Here's how many deliveries we've made. These are some challenges we've come across, and we may even have suggestions for some edits to the policy at that time. What's worked and what hasn't worked. So is this during certain hours? So that way you make sure people are home or do they specify it? Look, they'll be home at this time. Well, if they will be home delivery, they better be. It, it will be <laughs> during library operating hours. Oh, okay. So uh, they will always be on the first Saturday of the month, unless it is a holiday weekend, but it will always be on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. So between nine and five o'clock will be, or 9.30 and five o'clock will be their delivery. And we will specify that when they, those. And I would envision, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I, depending on how busy it gets, Taylor's going to be like the, um, the repairman who calls and says, we'll be at your house between 10 and 1 or 1 and 4. So there will be, I'm thinking. You never know when they're going to show. Yeah. It'll be easier when we have fewer people. Um, first, yeah. But if it if it ramps up, which would be really nice, mm -hmm. I think they'll be like, you know, have little windows that we expect to be at your house between this time and that time. Anyway, and, and looking at this, I was wondering, would um, Spanish language be one of the preferences that you want to add to this? Um, there is a section down there for uh, other preferences that they would right. like to list. And if they would like foreign language items, uh, we can do our best because we are still limited to this one catalog. Sure. Um, but they can list that there. Okay. Good work. Yes. And the Institute, remember, this isn't just for our library materials. It is for people to have access yeah. to whatever is available through SWAN. Mm -hmm. The other two forums that are, are not present um, are small slips that will be put into each book or a given a few books or with each delivery uh, that can rate the book, whether they liked it or disliked it. If they, oh, I've read this book already, don't deliver it again, um, or other comments like, hey, can I have more books by this author? So they can give us feedback on how we did on selecting materials. And also they can contact us and update their preferences, which will add a different form and they can request more specific authors, genres, change their genre preferences, and so on. Do you have a program surprise bundle? I mean, like if we take the library, my daughter just calls up and says, okay, I would like a surprise bundle, and this is my interest for my movies and my books. Do you have a program like that? Or thinking of one? Not at the moment, but if this if, if this sort of on-demand uh, mm -hmm. reference starts to pick up, that would be something we could consider. We do do that for teens and tweens uh, every yes. quarter. Yeah, it's real popular for mm -hmm. their adults at the table. Right? And I thought, oh, how cute. And she would always send me, like, look what I got. Look what I got. I said, I can't believe that. How did they know you like this? <laughs> <laughs> The magic of life. Yes. 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 She calls it the surprise one. That's fine. That's cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. Very nice job. Very complete. Thank uh, you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, so, shall I call for any further discussion? Call for a Trustee Rizan? Aye. Trustee Deacon? Aye. Trustee Richardson. Aye. Trustee Rosita. Aye. Trustee Stoll. Aye. And Trustee Warren White. Carries. Thank you. Let's see, that brings us to the director's report. Yeah. 
Yep. So I listed just a few of the highlights from the last month um, from my perspective. Um, again, thank you to the managers who helped with the annual report. Really, Paul. Okay. Else. <laughs> Kathy has some statistics. She's not, yeah. Right, Kathy? Sure. Mm -hmm. I Website visits and, and Jay can keep track of how many people are coming and going all year long. So she does those as well as meeting room counts. And then Mary Kelly um, has numbers to report as far as a collection. So thank you all for your help with that. Um, Sarah, I wanted to give a little shout out to Sarah at the member services desk. She's been assisting me with scanning um, some documents, um, old minutes ordinances um, things of that nature that we're trying to get into digital format um, so she's been helping me with that which has been fun i don't have time to review them or it'd be more fun because i could read about everything that was happening 20 years ago um, and then jackie has been busy as you recall we updated some of our annual leave at sick leave policies a couple of months ago so she has been working diligently with our payroll provider, Paylocity, to get the accruals programmed and set up in our payroll system. And our hope, we're waiting on one last accrual, but our hope is to get those into the system this coming Monday. And um, we'll do some testing again to make sure that everything is, is accruing and counting things properly. So she has been, Jackie's been, tracking everybody's time off in spreadsheets, basically, up to this point. She'll continue to do so for probably three payrolls after, at least three payrolls, after we get it into Paylocity so we can check check and make sure everything is working as we expected. Checks as well. Yes. Um, and then we did submit a letter of support for an application that the city submitted to ComEd for a Green Region Grant. We did that back in March. And the city was kind enough to let us know that they were awarded $10,000 um, for the grant. And it will provide some funding for a few elements that are included in this trailhead project that will be happening along the prairie path right here and in the front of the library. And that is expected to get started any day now. I haven't looked at the parking lot over there yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, started. yeah. The trucks were in the. As I tried to come and through today, like, they were all in the lane, so I had to back up okay. and come around the other So, thank you. What trees or what are they? Doing? They took some they trees out. The city took out. some trees out. They're doing some grading. Oh. Um, if they're putting in some really nice improvements to um, recognize basically the prairie path. The prairie, Illinois Prairie Path Foundation has given considerable amount of money to make a pathway um, and some bench seating. Um, but the biggest things from my perspective are they're going to make the, uh, one is that they're going to make the gazebo ADA accessible. So they'll have a ramp to that, which is really great. And then they will be building a physical building with running water and restrooms um, for, the, for the runners and the bikers. Um, and there'll be a bicycle repair station outside of that, an overhang with a couple of picnic benches under it. So it, it'll be some nice amenities, especially for the people who are using the prairie path. Um, Very nice. And I think it's expected to then draw more people to this area, which if we have a little more foot traffic, maybe we'll get a little sandwich shop somewhere nearby, a coffee shop. So we can hope. There is a, there is a hot dog place going through the permit process right now that would be located behind us on like Manning Avenue or Warren mm -hmm. Avenue. There's a little bit of building involved in that, but they're going through that process. So there may be something coming. Um, but that's what happened there. And then um, the last piece that I wanted to share with the board, the board knows this from me. Um, I did um, leave it all of your <coughs> faces on uh, my letter. Um, that formally notifies you of my intent to retire in February. Um, so I thought, I thought we've been talking about this for a while. Um, so that's just my formal notice to you. And I think the board then will need to have a discussion next, next month or forever we want to call a special meeting or committee to hold meeting at 6.30 next month. 
I'm not sure what um, what her intent is, but it will be up to the board then to work through the process of finding a new library director. So that's just the next part of the process. And as my letter states, I'm happy to work with you to figure out what that would look like and work together to find what a final exact date would be for my departure. So thank you all for being so supportive of me in the time that I've been here. Um, I guess that's all. So that's my report. Any other questions about director's report or the statistics on the following page? Uh, the, any other question? Do you have any other update on the election for next spring? No, the state board of thinks that's a great point. The state board of elections has not posted the candidates guide or the local officials guide yet. So definitely next month I will have information. If I get something sooner than that, I will shoot an email out. Thank you. Yes. 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 Uh, why did we get a forty-nine dollar refund for workers' comp, Mrs. Assistant? Because I did a workers' comp audit, so we got a refund. I don't think. So every year, Jackie comes. This is what Jackie's fun job. Completes an audit uh, for the workers' comp insurance company, and if we, if our payroll fell under what the expected payroll was going to be, then we get a refund. It can also go the other direction that if our payroll is it's over. Is forty nine dollars a standard refund? Or no, is it based no. on percentage. It's something? based on what our actual payroll was versus what our That's expected what payroll was. Where we got this number forty nine. Yeah, and, and then uh, I wanted to know: Is Colusha still watering the hanging baskets? I believe so. Yeah, okay. we we don't water. You don't water. Baskets, no. so we could do that a couple years ago too. When Lee was gone, Sandy and I would have to take a shower out there. <laughs> it didn't work well for us. <laughs> I don't know how long they, how long into the season they continue watering them. Well, they'll be gone Labor Day. Maybe. I believe so. Public services, that was some great numbers on um, your reading program. Thank you very much. Absolutely. And then I shall be quiet, but I just somehow like uh, Duncan's. Here's his report in a new format, and it's very easy to read that and understand what he has done. He grouped it together. Thank you. He did, yes. It's much easier. Thank you. Anyone else have any other questions for the department head report? Did anybody have anything they wanted to? I'll call on each of you individually. Did you want it to highlight on your report? Jackie, did you have anything to highlight? No, but I could report that I have heard from Josh and Shales McNutt. And um, hopefully tomorrow he's getting the doors and frames for the oh, employees. So um, that will be scheduled in the next couple of weeks. Lee is off on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week. And I have to also get hold of alarm detection to because of the security system to come out and remove it and then we'll have to install it again. But yeah, we should have by like, September morning, we should have doors up, hopefully. You're gonna have a ribbon coming. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're not making any bets on that. Take it into it. So. And then it'll cool off and the doors will just open just fine. Yeah, yeah. it's oh, sticking fine. really bad yeah. today, the one up here. Last week, Mandy and I tried to open it and we had to ring the doorbell because we put a whole foot on the door and Nate couldn't do it. it. The two of us couldn't open it. <laughs> oh, yep, so that. Or meetings. Next year, we will add um, fitness center memberships. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm kidding. Next year, we'll add new doors. <laughs> Just keep the old so doors and that's yeah, our fitness yeah. membership. <laughs> All right. In, in Kathy's report, I noted that. Uh, she said that she tried to find better and better locations for the seed packets that wasn't. Ah. 
They're not moving too fast. Hey, they're all gone. They are gone. Oh, there was a lot. Sarah and found out that you've gone through the whole box. Oh. So it was a whole box. Right. So that was hundreds of, of packets. Yeah. So I will get you more. Good thing I didn't, you know, destroy the display. <laughs> no, we, we, we had it out there right when you came in. And I, I think after a few weeks, it was. You know, people had seen it all enough, but then we moved it over near the checkout, uh, at the checkout, self checkout, and then they seemed to fly off that way. Mm -hmm. well, that's great. So, that was all nice. these books also checked out, right? They're, as they're, well, which is great. Yeah. yeah, every single one. Shouldn't they're down to one packet left. Who's going to be the old maiden bread back in the <laughs> Kathy, did you have anything else to highlight in your report? Uh, a lot, lot happened in July. Huh? A lot happened in July. Um, oh, yeah. uh, it's all there. Well, it's all there. Uh, got lots of stuff on the website. I will say, I think our social media has been growing. Mm -hmm. I know we don't longer show, I used to have a chart that showed uh like a month by month but i could just say um certainly our facebook following is, is up um and with all the posts about sylvia's retirement song, um, that, i mean that really that her, her retirement one of those posts got us more likes than we've ever gotten on a single post so wow um so, uh so that's nice we are it's a it's, it's a slow and steady race i, I will say that on, on any kind of social Paul, do you have anything special you want to point out? Sure, yeah. Uh, so the summer reading challenge uh, was the first one that we've done completely in Beanstack, and I believe it was a great success mm -hmm. due to a lot of our staff back here and youth services and adult services. And the numbers are definitely up from uh, the last, well, last 2020 doesn't really count, but uh, especially from last year, we, we went up in every single category. So I think that was uh, an awesome surprise to see. Uh, the concerts are doing very well. Uh, we have had, had any rain, I shouldn't say that, uh, yeah. but we have one more concert next week, and I'm already working on the application for next year's uh, grant since the deadline is September 12th. So we have uh, another, we're going to go with another six bands, and since it was very successful this year, and sticking with the Thursdays. So. I, I'm sorry, are you going to keep it on Thursdays? We're going to stick, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I did send Sandy something. I think you should be aware that this four C notes has a huge social media presence. Yes, absolutely. So I'm not sure We're if it'll draw as much as the ABBA people did. That was the biggest one. I was yeah. I was in right now. I was very yeah. hot. I don't know why, but yeah. it could be <laughs> four C notes could be close to that. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Uh, I'll see how. It I'm not going, but I have enough neighbors who are going Sunday where they're performing at Canteen. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. What they so, are. Jerry, I think that almost all of Maple Hill shows up for those. They Heather do. doesn't. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm there. Yeah. Yeah. I always am like, I'm gonna go, and then I forget. I'm like, all of a sudden it's eight thirty, and I'm like, yeah. and yeah. I don't need to give you a hard time. But but seriously, Maple Hill, they. They come out. I'm continuously running into people from Maple Hill that are there. So, I have to say we had a crisis today because they all thought there was a concert tonight. Oh no! And they're like, no, it's every other week. Please. <laughs> well, what do you mean there's a concert? I'm having them on Thursday nights instead of Wednesday nights, though, too. We bring only right. some music from in here. <laughs> right. Well, can I tell you that I've had not right now, but for the last three weeks, I've had two young men from Japan and one woman from France staying at my house. And they have loved the concerts. <laughs> <laughs> they remember by that. accident. I believe I met you said, huh? were the, the two from Japan were the young mothers. No, they were young guys, oh, okay. 20, 21, 22. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so that's great. Could, that's a great thing to include in your Kyle report. Yes. That we had some international international. Business business. Business. And then you um, have an international following. Next thing you're going to have to zoom up next year. <laughs> And another thing, I think either Paul, Paul doesn't know me to say this, but I think either Paul or I need to reach out to um, the folks at Eva Lviv 
to see if they've seen any kind of an impact to their business because I think if the city knows that mm -hmm. there's an economic um so are you going to ask them to serve wine at a yeah. next meeting no <laughs> <laughs> you can ask them to do that but um but I do think when I left here because I'm not sticking around Paul sticking around at home so the band wrap things up but I have noticed when I drive past here on my way out of town that they do have a pretty good crowd over there yeah. Thursday night after the concert so it'd be interesting to know from them if they've noticed if on Thursday night when we have a concert if they're um if your clientele ramps up a little bit so this would be fun to report back to the city that day I'm pretty sure one of the bands visited there. For oh, sure, so. <laughs> before or after the <laughs> That I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that would be interesting to hear. So that's good news. Okay, so we do have Mary Kelly on online. Mary Kelly, did you have anything that you wanted to report out about in your? report no but i will say that i'm very clumped right now about your announcement so i don't have anything other than that to say then i'm sad you're leaving well thank you you'll be fine i told you that it's gonna be fine um uh, but i will say that mary kelly has been working with a committee of staff as you know on a d d e i statement They've made great progress and they will have something for you to review and discuss in September. Yeah. Um, so look forward to that discussion. One question for you, Mary Kelly, is where is Books on Tap being held? That is at the Rock Bottom Brewery. And um, I went because um, Gail, in technical services had gone the month before and said how much fun it was, even though it was not a lot of people there. So I went and it was a good time. It was, I brought my daughter's boyfriend with me and Gail was there with her husband and Tom and Taylor. And it was just, it was nice to talk. We talked about, um, yeah. I actually bought my book that I had, it was, a uh, uh, what was it? Academia? Dark Academia was the last theme. Yes, that, there you go. So it, it was very enjoyable. Nice to see people outside of work. I mean, well, they were working, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping that working. it does not turn into a staff book discussion, <laughs> but that it is, that's what it is right now. <laughs> but the premise is, is not to discuss a single book, yeah. but it's centered around a different genre or topic. And then you, you talk about the books in that very of interest that you've read and yeah. enjoyed. And these guys then will recommend others. Yes, the goal of this is to attract a, a new crowd for a book discussion that's probably in their 20s and 30s somethings mm -hmm. um, by hosting it at a bar and doing a little bit more trendy genres. Uh, and then once we have a little bit more of a following, we can get more feedback from them and say, hey, like what genres do you like? And eventually we'll, we will narrow to one or two books a month that we will come and discuss. But we want to see what the community of 2030 somethings in Warrenville want to read first. I have a question, totally unrelated. You brought your daughter's boyfriend. Did you make her stay home? <laughs> she's in cosmetology school, so she's in, in, in class in, at night. She works during the day and is at school at night, so <laughs> I hijacked the boyfriend. That's where I was going. But he can provide some feedback. Because yes. he's in that target yeah. age group. Yes, he is. He is a 20 something. So, oh my yeah, I, I will <laughs> talk to him. <laughs> okay. Cool. I think that's it for department head reports. President's report. But she said that uh, the next uh, regular board meeting will be in the meeting library room at August 7th. No. That's tonight. Yeah. Yeah. September. Maybe we can draw it here. September 21st. December 21st. So that's uh, the, the closing coming up on August 19th. 
Labor Day closing for Sunday, September 4th and Monday, September 5th. The library will be closed Friday. Correct. Correct. And I did hear you mention, Sandy, that it's a possibility that the Wednesday meeting will start, Wednesday, 21st, September meeting will start earlier. Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay. Okay. I guess it's now time for the treasurer's report. All right. Um, as everyone can see, the development donations we got June 30th, they're holding a little over 23,000. For the library, and um, we included 20,000 of that in our budget for the debt certificate payment. And if people read in Sandy's report, she submitted the annual request for the TIF number three and four reimbursements to the city. And as of August 10th, we have received 53% of our budgeted property tax income from the city. What is the estimated amount of the um, chip reimbursement? I think we budgeted for twenty thousand dollars. For the tip? Oh, for the. I'm sorry. Not the developer. No. You were asking about the tip. I was. Yes, I, we budgeted twenty thousand for the tip as well. I'm not sure that we'll get that much. I'm um, just curious. What, what last year, I think we got six thousand dollars, I believe. <laughs> but many of the developments were not finalized. Um, where now you're going to have pretty much all of Everton will be included as well as all of that Lexington Trace development, both on Route 59. So I expect a considerable bump in that number. And the city responded and said they, they, they're going to try to be a little speedier at getting that money to us this year. Last year we didn't get it until April. So they have a little better idea of what data they they need to collect and how they're calculated. So I think Last year was their first year doing that. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. As long as we get it, I'm happy. Okay. Okay. Uh, it looks great. Thank you. And committee work. We did not have any committee reports this one. Uh, trustee comments. I have one. Um, at the last trustee meeting, Sandy had mentioned that uh, my term was up in April. Rick and who else? Someone else. Heather. Yes. Heather. And I have, uh, I just recently retired from teaching. And my husband passed away this year. And uh, I am not running again. I'm going to be traveling a lot. So. So just keep that in mind if you know of anyone who may make a great addition to the board. I enjoyed every minute. I love being on the board. And I love the library. I went right from working 17 years at the library to running to be on the board. And I've loved every minute. But. And a lot of changes in my life this year, yeah, so sure, I'm going yeah. to go ahead and travel. Good for you. And enjoy every month. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to try. <laughs> <laughs> I do have another comment. <laughs> I just have to say that the highlight of this entire report was that we got a refund from the Bear Club Hawaiians of $195 <laughs> and no fire. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you for including that. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the contract and they did not did, deliver. Did. Wow. Did, you ever, did you ask them or did they turn around? And no. We asked them. Sylvia so probably did that for you. Yes. Excellent. They made, they made extra for the fire. All right. And let me just say that the Barefoot Hawaiians, the Maple Hill residents, did not like that. Okay. So this is the fire dancing. Maybe there was no fire, right? Yeah, they they might have have been been been. They're not going to next year. That's what they tell me next year. Well, the Barefoot Hawaiians probably aren't going to be there. So, but they so there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't go. Uh, I just, 
<laughs> we understand. <Yeah. laughs> Okay. Anyone else? Items for information and or discussion. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Somebody else wants to discuss something else, but yeah. that's Jill. 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 And who seconded? Susie. All in favor? Aye. 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 756.